So we got a question on YouTube from Diane and she had an interesting reaction with some old acrylic paint. She found some cheap craft acrylic tubes that she bought 10 years ago and completely forgotten about. So now she uses mostly oils and she said Galleria Acrylics, which is a brand, a Winsor Newton um, line of acrylic. But the interesting thing she said about these old tubes of this cheap craft paint was that when she squirted them out, the pigment separated from the acrylic medium. And put something in the comments if you've ever had that happen. I know I have had that happen before. She asked, have you ever come across that? I was just interested to find out if it was because of being the cheap ones or some time factor as they hadn't even been opened yet. Well, I would say my understanding is a properly milled paint and milling is how in the factory they take these dry pigments and use this roller system to perfectly encapsulate those pigments with your binder. Be that in watercolor you have a gum arabic binder, acrylic it's acrylic polymer emulsion, in oil it's linseed oil, whatever that binder is it is the job of the paint maker to carefully and sometimes that can take hours or days of milling the paint depending on different pigments and those who um, really mastered it have taken that to a very high level and they know exactly how long. Clearly when you're buying a less expensive paint you are getting less quality. So it's one of these things that I tell people over and over there is no like um, name branding type thing like in fashion where you can have like a crazy expensive thing that's super cheaply manufactured. When you buy artist materials, just in my experience of purchasing art materials for over 30 years is generally the more you pay, the higher quality you get. So there are brands out there that are really known uh, across the world and um, have been making art materials for a very long time and put a lot of thought and care into it. And then there are the um, less expensive brands that are there to serve, you know, say um, school markets, um, people who are just getting into it who really aren't ready to invest in the highest quality paint. So my guess is that regardless of the fact that um, they were old, they may have done that in the first place. But yes, age does happen. And, and I have had older paints um, Never with acrylics, only with oils, where I squirt out of a tube and we get some kind of linseed oil pile going one way and more of the pigment um, going the other way, and then I have to mix it back together. Really, it shouldn't be that way with better quality paint. That won't happen. So, um, again, you get what you pay for, and I would just toss that paint, you know. I, I wouldn't try and use it unless it's just for some kind of project that's really... Uh, not a concern where it, it will last just for something fun or you want to maybe donate it. Um, since it's acrylic, you could donate it to a local art center, an after-school children's art program, um, a school. People are always looking for affordable paints. So many people want to get into painting and the cost is what holds them back. So you might want to share them because it's not that they can't be used, they can be mixed together. So that was a great question. Thank you so much for that question.